Most notable picks yesterday was Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He was picked to become the Secretary of Health and Human Services, a position he stressed the importance of on the campaign trail with Trump. Take a listen. Don't you want a president who's going to end the corruption at the federal agencies, at FDA, at NIH, at CDC, and at the CIA? And don't you want a president who's going to make America healthy again? Wow. For more on this topic and many more, let's welcome in Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek. Congresswoman, what do you make of this new pick, RFK? Well, good morning to you both. And I cannot be more excited for the entire slate of candidates that have been appointed for Trump's next cabinet. In the case of RFK, this is particularly exciting as for the last four years, I have been tracking the unaccompanied children that HHS, Health and Human Services, who is responsible for these children at the border, they have lost. 325,000 children have been lost on their watch. So mm -hmm. Jay, RFK is going to have a real responsibility to find out what went wrong and where these kids are at, what has happened to them. Yeah. He also has a phenomenal mandate, of which I share, that you can, one, question the science, and two, you can be a, a, a for vaccines or against vaccines, but for us, it's anti-mandate. And in the case of COVID, we saw where people were pushed to say either you get the jab or you lose your job. Mm. And for me, I'm not anti-vaccine, but I, and I know that RFK is not either. But what he and I and so many of us have been saying across America, we've said we don't like the mandates. And so it is the role of the federal government to put the best information out there and let people decide. He is going to do just that, and he's going to clean house. I couldn't be more excited. Are you saying, Congresswoman, that, that RFK is trying to bring in choice into the idea of <laughs> that? What a novel wow. concept. <laughs> Maybe the left may actually uh, adopt that idea. I do want to get back to something that you, you just mentioned, because a lot of people may not know this. And I know you've been very outspoken about the unaccompanied children at the southern border. And what some may not know is that HHS is also responsible for these children, as you said. So I know that you questioned the current secretary on this. I want to show our viewers. Take a look. You release these folks, these kids, to sponsors that are in the country illegally. By definition, they have already broken the law. Is it a standard operating policy to release children into the hands of sponsors in households that haven't been properly vetted and that are here in the country illegally? I think I heard a question there, and so I'll try to respond because you packed a lot in there. <laughs> well, there's a lot to pack in there. Uh, what do you think RFK will do to get to the bottom of this? Well, I, I just have to say to the outgoing uh, secretary of HHS, uh, Becerra, bless his heart, he never could answer the question of why they were putting children, some as young as two and three, into homes that had never been vetted. There was no DNA connection and there were actually convicted rapists and uh, drug drug dealers in those homes. But never the mind of that. They don't ever want to answer for that. Mm -hmm. You know, I think when people are thinking about HHS, they think of CDC and FDA and NIH and NSF. As you so rightly pointed out, HHS has full jurisdiction with CBP over these unaccompanied children. And as of this moment, we have 325,000 kids in our country that have been released into homes that we don't know if they've been vetted. We don't know who these people are. And in many cases, these kids were showing up with phone numbers, Sharpied, on their arms or they had numbers safety pinned on their clothes. So sad. And I yeah. it's telling me that I've seen the phone number at least a hundred times. So we know that these children have probably been put into trafficking situations. We've had some undercover, um, some investigative journalists who have done so stories finding some of these kids in awful working situations, trafficking, labor trafficking situations. Congresswoman, I, I got to jump in here. Forgive me. I, I want to get your take. Uh, we've got about 45 seconds, but there's some questions circling about a former Florida congressman, colleague of yours, Matt Gates, and whether he will be confirmed by the Senate as attorney general. Is he the right pick for attorney general, in your opinion? I can tell you, serving on weaponization with Matt Gates, he's one of the most brilliant and shrewd minds of our generation. 
I pity the person who is on the opposing side of Matt Gates. I love it. I'll leave it. All right. Good stuff. Congresswoman Kat Kamek, always great to have you on. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend. You too. You too. Alex, Happy Friday. over to you.